Will. I'm glad you figured it out, Will. Look, I'm, I'm here with Vanessa. I gotta go. I love you too. Bye. I really don't know what to say. It's kind of weird being here. Well, there's no rush. It's really at your pace and whatever makes you comfortable. I just feel kind of stupid for letting it get this far. I mean, I thought he loved me. And now I know that being treated that way and controlled by jealousy is not love. It's not about blaming yourself. But understanding what kind of person you are and what type of people empower you for just being you. Well, I'm starting to find more people like that around me. I'm starting to realize that having someone to talk to isn't a sign of weakness. How does that make you feel? It makes me feel stronger, actually. Looks like you're off to a good start then. Hi, Nikki. Hi. Hi, Mrs. Thompson. Hi. How are we doing today? Just want to see what abnormal labs means to you, Doc. Shut it, Nikki. I'm sorry, Doctor. My daughter sometimes doesn't know how to keep her comments to herself. That's fine. With girls Nikki's age, it can sometimes be Just a couple of it, different Doc. things. Well, your sample tested positive for bacteria, better known as chlamydia trachomatis. Oh, so it's like a yeast infection. No, it's a sexually transmitted infection. Chlamydia. Chlamydia? An STD, Nikki? Really? But I haven't been with anyone and I haven't been sick. Well, in many cases, chlamydia doesn't have any symptoms. However, if left untreated, it can lead to pelvic inflammatory disease and affects your ovaries and your fallopian tubes. This is just great. I don't know why you're so upset. These were your choices, your actions. Mom, can you just chill? Well, our first step is going to be to discuss treatment options, mainly with antibiotics. Then you're gonna to have to take four pills all at one time. And furthermore, you'll have to notify any sexual partners that you've had recently. And they'll also have to be treated. Okay. I'll get the prescriptions filled and follow through. It's not like I slept with the whole football team. Well, Nikki, it doesn't take the whole football team. It just takes one. You are going to follow through, and your father is going to have a word with you. So, um... Is it ever going to go away? Presently, there really isn't a cure for genital herpes. However, there are medications that will shorten the outbreaks and make them less severe. Uh, what about the things on my... down there? When outbreaks do occur, uh, the lesions will recur on your penis. <laughs> really? Look, I know they're painful but the lesions should improve in the next week. So Allison, you're doing really well into your second trimester. Have you been taking the prenatal vitamins? Yes, ma'am. Good. Keep taking one vitamin per day. Would you care to know the sex of the baby? You can tell already? I know it doesn't seem clear to you, but the ultrasound can tell us a lot, including whether it's a male or female. Is there someone in the waiting area I can get for you? I 
I see. Well, there is something exciting about not knowing to the day of. It gives you something else to look forward to. I guess so. Okay, we'll schedule for a follow-up in four weeks.